Hey guys, it's Jen. Um, it's Friday, February 13th, 2015. Um, I just wanted to get on here and do a quick update. I believe my last video was on uh, the day of my clinical orientation, which was last Saturday. And I'm doing my nights and, weekend, uh, nights and weekends program, so my clinical orientation was on Saturday. And if you remember, I told you guys that I'd be back on that Sunday for clinical, but we wouldn't be able to do much because... We're only allowed to do bed baths at this point, and the facility I am at for the semester doesn't, they don't bathe their, the patients on Sundays, so I was kind of bummed out about that. However, when I went on Sunday, uh, my patient requested one, so we were able to do that, which was super cool. I didn't know that if the patient wants it, you do it. I mean, obviously that makes sense, but I wasn't sure of our, you know, if we were allowed or whatever, but we were, and it was really cool. So I'm so glad I got to do that. In fact, we had downtime because it was two of us to one patient, and my patient was pretty much self-sufficient, so there wasn't a lot to be done. However, so when we were done with our patient, we were able to make some rounds and go talk to some residents, and another patient on the floor requested a bed bath, which was super cool, only because there were other issues there and I'm not going to break any HIPAA laws, so I'm not going to give specifics, but we had to do some accommodating and some adjusting to make that bed bath happen. So it was very cool and exciting to get to experience that. So it wasn't as much of a boring day as I anticipated, so that was pretty neat. Um, since I had clinical last weekend, I'm off from clinical this weekend, but I still have skills lab Saturday, which is tomorrow, all day from eight to three. So next week I'm next weekend I'm back at clinical, and at that point we'll be checked off on vital signs as well. So oh, which reminds me, sorry, this is all over the place. I should have planned this video out, but I didn't, so it's going to be kind of sporadic. But last night I got checked off on vital signs. I know it's not a huge deal, but it's still exciting. So yeah, so the next time I go to clinical, I'll be able to do bed bath. And vital signs, which is awesome. Pretty excited about that. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Uh oh. I hear my son crying. He's downstairs with my daughter. Well, if it's bad enough, she'll bring him up. But anyway, okay, so clinical update. I was able to do more than I thought I would. Got checked off on vitals. Tomorrow I'm in school all day. And oh boy, this was the main reason I want to start this video. Oh my good lord, the stress, guys, the stress is finally, what is this, week three or four, and I'm really starting to feel it now, and I knew it was coming, I just didn't know, whoa, the impact, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's a lot, and at this point, I'm, I'm so exhausted. I am so exhausted. Not that it's hard. It's not hard yet. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm trying to balance things, and I don't think I'm doing a very good job at it. But I guess it comes with the territory, and I'll get better as time progresses, hopefully. But right now, I am, aside from class and clinical and paperwork and homework and reading, I am trying to prepare for my first exam, which is on Tuesday, my first fundamentals exam. And I am fortunate enough to be friends with everyone in my class. And so I am able, I have several different study groups, if that makes sense, which I love because I get a, so many different perspectives on things. And I like it because I don't want to be associated with just like one click of people. I hate that. So I'm fortunate in that I love my class. I love all of them. I love all of them. And so I have different study groups, but those different study groups are meeting at different times. And so I'm like going to all these study groups, which is wonderful and I appreciate it, but it's wearing me out, wearing me out. But hopefully the hard work pays off. Um, I'm really getting really close to this one particular lady in my class and I just love her to pieces and we work really well together. So yesterday we 
went to the school and we spent probably six hours, a good six hours studying. Today we met up again and did another six hours. And then tonight, in a couple hours, what time is it? Um, in an hour and a half, I'm going to another study group and I'll probably be there till 10. And then tomorrow I have another study group. So it's like study, 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 study. And I feel like I'm failing as a wife. I'm failing as a mom. Oh, the struggle, the struggle. If you guys have any advice, I'd love to hear it because I don't know. I feel like I'm failing. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I don't want this to be like poor Jen video, but I'm just getting it out there. So if anyone has any tips or advice on how to balance life with nursing school, that'd be lovely. Um, so anyway, clinical update, stress and balance. I don't have it all together yet. And my different study groups. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, Saturday, tomorrow when I go to school, we're learning um, health assessment. Holy jeez. I had no idea all of the stuff that was involved in like a head to toe assessment. It's a lot. It's probably like 20 pages long of like stuff. And so I don't know how that's going to go. But I'm excited to start it and try it and see how see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure. One of our, my class is divided into like two different, two or three different lab groups, clinical groups. And so one clinical group, their instructor doesn't allow them to bring in the paperwork with them because of infection control, which I get. Luckily, we are allowed to bring, I don't know how safe that is, but we are allowed to bring paperwork in. So I'm able to ask the questions and kind of mark it down on my paper. So I don't know how you guys, I don't know if you guys take your paperwork in when you're doing an assessment to, um, oh, okay. I should say the reason we have paperwork and it's not on a computer system is because we are at an older facility. And from what I understand, most nursing homes or assisted living type places, they don't have computer systems. I could totally be off on that, but I believe that's what I heard. So that's why we're using paperwork. I am allowed to take paperwork. Some of my um, friends are not, so I don't know how that's going to go. But anywho, I will update you guys probably as soon as I get my exam grade. It's on Tuesday. It's 50 questions, 17 of which are alternative style questions, which could be select all that apply, fill in the blank, um put in order, and I don't know, probably some other, oh, hotspot. And what hotspot is, is there'll be like a diagram of a person, and she'll be like, where's the liver? And you put X on that spot. It's called the hotspot. So 17 alternative style questions, 50 questions altogether. It's worth 50 points. Worth 50 points, 75 is passing, anything lower than that, failing, and then you have to remediate, so on and so on. So, I will let you guys know how that goes. I hope your week is doing a lot better than mine. I hope you are getting sleep. I hope you're getting the grades that you want. If not, I feel your struggle, and we're in this together. So, good luck, and I wish you guys the best this week. Update me on how you're doing. As always, subscribe, ask questions. Love to hear from you guys. Bye.